I'm Dmitry, and I have to tell you that I'm in charge of, uh, of a network of special agents across Russia. They are highly competent and trained for high-tech operations. <laughs> they are also school children. <laughs> it is all, of course, a game, or is it? Uh, so, uh, our base of operations is in the city of Tomsk. It's okay not to know where it is here. <laughs> uh, so, it's Western Siberia. Uh, but, it is actually a major uh, scientific and educational hub in Russia. Uh, so, uh, this project that I'm talking about uh, is developed with uh, Tomsk Polytechnic University, uh, one of our country's uh, top tech schools. Uh, and the project is called uh, Agents of the Future. But uh, before I continue, I would, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, the initial concept uh, for this game uh, was workshopped uh, right here at uh, Knutpunkt a uh, couple of years before uh, at uh, brainstorming sessions. And uh, I really want to thank uh, people who contributed uh, I know uh, Dirk is here, uh, Josfin, uh, Anes, I, I guess, uh, Johanna, so, uh, and uh, all the others, uh, thank you, you've really helped back then. Uh, so, what it actually is. Uh, it is a game-based uh, online platform for school children. It promotes uh, science, engineering, and tech education and also is uh, aimed to provide uh, career guidance in these fields. Because uh, in Russia, a lot of uh, people who are leaving high school uh, at approximately uh, 16 years old, uh, they are graduating, and they have to make really important decision. Uh, a lot of them are going to uni university when uh, they're basically kids. So any career guidance at this point would be helpful. And uh, it is my firm belief that uh, the only way to really provide some guidance uh, to your future career is uh, by giving you some experience of what people actually do in this field. And uh, real experience is, of course, preferable, but uh, simulated experience uh, is the next best thing, and this is what games can do. Uh, so, uh, is this a game? where you uh, become an agent of this fictional special uh, organization called Future Corps uh, that allegedly exists in our world. So uh, anyone can join this organization uh, uh, via this uh, online platform, right? And uh, join uh, its activities. So uh, what's the actual gameplay? It's uh, that we are doing missions. Uh, we are progressing by getting experience. Uh, we take part in an uh, interactive story that uh, it goes in real time. And uh, we coordinate with other people. We create teams. Uh, we chat with each other and so on, doing even some projects together. Uh, uh, here's another glimpse uh, how it looks like. Uh, but uh, missions, as you have probably guessed, are game modules that uh, explore dif different fields uh, of uh, engineering, modern industry, or science. Uh, for example, this one is uh, about automating a uh, gas processing complex. So, looks a bit like work, right? <laughs> And uh, this one is about uh, launching an energy plant. That is actually kind of visual adventure. Uh, so missions can look and play very differently as uh, each has its own educational goal. And uh, by completing different missions, uh, players hopefully get better understanding what interests them most and uh, some basic understanding on that field. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I tell everyone at every other conference about it, uh, but what I really want to uh, talk about now here is uh, a bit different. Not concrete specifics of uh, how it all works, 
but uh, the ideas behind our fictional uh, organization. Uh, yeah, another glimpse. Uh, so as you can see, we base uh, a lot of it on a story. So we created this fictional universe. Uh, we have this uh, uh, characters, like interactors, who are actual people. They uh, can not only appear in videos, but sometimes inter interact with uh, players uh, directly. So we use some LARP-like techniques when we can. Uh, and on one hand, this is just uh, us needing something special to make sure that uh, kids will spend their free time playing our game and, you know, not Dota. Uh, but on the other hand, our uh, game universe is also important to us on a different level, and that is ideological level. Uh, yes, so players take on roles. Uh, they basically role play, right? They are agents of organization, so they need to share its goals and vision. And uh, what is the cause of uh, this fictional organization? So, uh, Future Corps is planetary, which means that it is interested in humanity as a whole and not in uh, interests of specific nations. It is humanistic, which means that uh, technology that they create is supposed to serve uh, bettering, uh, making human lives better. Uh, they op are optimistic, meaning that there is hope in this world and uh, we can do something good about it and there is solution to every problem. And finally, uh, Future Corps is intellectual, which means that intelligence is uh, what is valued most in uh, agents. Uh, so it may sound a little bit familiar to some of you. Uh, uh, here is a motto, uh, but what we based this on is uh, actually Soviet sci-fi, Soviet uh, space age optimism, cult of reason, human progress, human potential, belief in better tomorrow. Uh, so we're talking just this, we're not taking any suppression of freedom and uh, other <laughs> not so cool things about Soviet regime. So it's more about Soviet dream of future rather than actual Soviet politics. Uh, so every mission, uh, every uh, story video that we make uh, should support and reinforce this idea somehow. And by taking part in it, uh, regularly, you can't help but be influenced by them. So uh, from the moment that uh, we took on this project, we knew that it has to be persistent, that the game universe should live together with players, and they should be involved, uh, uh, they should spend a lot of time in it. Uh, this is why it basically became an uh, alternate reality game. But uh, Alternate reality game and LARP also have other side to them. They, oh, here comes Nordic Lab theory. <laughs> uh, they bleed into reality. Uh, so consider this. Uh, if I am, uh, for example, I'm doing something for this organization, doing some missions, and, uh, and there is my buddy somewhere in the other city who's doing something for it too. And uh, for example, my school teacher, gives us a mission uh, to make, uh, to complete, and then uh, some university provides us with a laboratory to uh, make our experiments for our, uh, for our course, for our mission, and then we are at some kind of forum, a youth forum, and there's some special event for the future course agents. Maybe it is not that fictional anymore. And so, the ultimate goal of this project for us is making Future Corps real. Because we want to involve enough children, enough uh, students and teachers in Russia, uh, get enough support from different uh, organization, uh, organizations. So all these shared game activities, uh, they can't help but bleed into wider world. And uh, 
to me, is this is what all good role playing is all about. Uh, because what we do in game is not real, but game experience absolutely is. And uh, what if I role play something that I can actually do in real life as well? So uh, if I'm, uh, for example, pretending to play science and follow some characters who are uh, cool scientists, why not do science in real life and continue it? And there is no conflict between fiction and reality. You can do this. And uh, the game is just a uh, transition. And this is really all it needs to be. So we want these uh, kids making discoveries, advancing technologies, building better systems uh, in real life as well as in game. So in this scenario, Future Corps is real because it is a functioning network with a lot of active members. They are acting together for a good cause that matters to them. And yes, maybe it is real then. Uh, right now, this part, of course, is uh, still far ahead. We've spent a lot of time getting this project off ground. Now it is already launched and has a couple of thousand players, but it's still not, uh, in not a big launch yet, still in its infancy. And there is a long way to go, but we hope in time we will make this thing just too big to be just a game. Well, and if any of you will uh, have any idea to contribute or maybe some to build some international ties to it, you can also become the agent of the future. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>